Hello YouTubers and welcome to 5k day, the day where I get to do 5,000 meters on the rowing machine as fast as I can. As I spoke about in last week's episode, this specific time trial, this specific test, this specific workout is one of my, or the hardest erg for me. Not particularly because it's a hard distance, but more mentally over the past few years, it's been a challenge to go faster than I wanted to. Whether that's been because during the times of general 5Ks, middle of winter time, I've not been on full bit good form, or it's because my strategy has been a bit terrible and I've over-egged it and I've ended up applying too much yam and just struggling to finish the piece in general. But today, well, we'll see, you will probably know because the live stream will have happened already, how this erg will go. But fingers crossed, Yam Squad, it goes well. What we're doing this morning, though, is getting a little bit of a warm-up, pre-warm-up, before the warm-up, to wake the body up. So we're watching the Yambulance. We're in the Yam KV 7653-something to do a little bit of an erg. with some lovely washing going on behind me so that I can wake up the body and prepare it for what's about to come. So we'll get the ergin now, fuel up slightly, making sure I'm not over fueled, don't like having a full stomach, and then we'll head into the 5k at the Scottish Rowing Centre at Strathclyde Park to see how we get on. So I'm going to take you along with me on the journey today over a test day. So let's see how it goes, Yam Squad. And that is the wake up the body pre-warm-up of the warm-up pre-5k just nice and steady getting nice and sweaty getting the body ready to be ready for the pain cave for the max yam for whatever you're about to put your body through later on in the day it can be quite difficult for your body just to produce full yam straight away so first things first in the morning let's wake up the body so step one done now on to step two which is basically try not to do anything silly until we get to Strathclyde Park until we get to start on the warm-up and then apply the yam that we have now awoken so let's go And now it's time pre 5k test post warm up prior to the warm up of the 5k test is to fuel up so I just got some really bland tuna and rice because for me I tend to throw up post max effort so I want to not have an empty stomach but not have a full stomach either so it's a fine balance for me everyone has their own sort of preferences some people really like to fuel up before a test other people like barely can't eat at all but yams had a little bit of a tuna and rice just a test that is in fact edible prior to the 5k and then we've got a couple of hours two and a half hours till the test itself where we will be just snacking grazing so that I stay on that just above not hungry level if that makes sense let me know in the comments below what you feel like your best fueling up is whether it's full stomach empty stomach half full 
everyone is a little bit different. So feeling up here, and then we'll get to get to going to Strathclay Park. And we've made it to the Scottish Rowing Centre to get on with the 5k. So we're gonna get in, <laughs> gonna get in, get warmed up, and get started. Wish me luck, Yam Squad. Live stream all set up. Now it's time to get on. As it starts to rain outside of the Scottish Rowing Centre at Strathclyde Park behind me, I had a little bit of time to think of the 5k itself today, as a little bit of rain goes on the lens. So I'm in a bit of two minds of the 5k itself today. The 5k was the best I have done since my PB 5k in 2016, so that's very good. But then the other part of me is thinking, oh, it's, it's not a PB. And of course, every test can't be a PB, but it's just one of those things in your head where you think, oh, could I have done that a little bit better? But I'm trying to be mindful, trying to be present, trying to appreciate where I am. It's winter, or the beginning of winter training. We've not really been doing a lot of high intensity training, and therefore I sh wouldn't be in great 5k shape so i'm actually pretty happy with the result my approach for the 5k itself my strategy was to the first 3k do relatively level splits at about 37 38 which i managed fine and then gradually bring it down for a k see how i am and then that last k really tank it in add more yam as i get closer to that 5k because Especially now that I've done the 5k, I feel like I'm very, I'm fit, if that makes So my heart rate was very high for a long period of time, which suggests to me my heart and lungs are very capable at the moment, but my body, I'm not quite capable of just that little bit extra or holding on or being happy in the lactic acid land, if that makes sense. Going really deep in the pain cave and being able to stick your hand in the fire for a long period of time. 
But that will be what we'll be working on as we progress through winter and as we progress out of winter into the spring. So really thinking of where I am training wise, training program wise and the performance, I am very happy with that. So that will be it for today's episode Jam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Follow me along the journey to the 5K. And as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and I will see you in the next episode Yam Squad.